hardware technology. In the earlier four videos on hardware technology, I have explained the basic understanding and how intelligently we could apply hardware technology in the food preservation. It was mainly qualitatively explained. Now we are considering cheese and sauces making process in the framework of hardware technology. In this video, I am going to explain Indian traditional cheese paneer and Chinese meat la chang in relation to their used hurdles. In these products, we could clearly observe that shelf life could be extended by more than double if we use one or two extra hurdles. Please watch this video until the end and subscribe to this channel if you would like to watch similar types of videos. We could start with traditional Indian paneer, a cottage type cheese. It is liked due to its nutritive value and characteristic taste. However, paneer spoils bacteriologically within one to two days at room temperature, that is around 35 degrees C. This is the strong drawback for its industrial production. We could produce it in cans. Sterilized paneer in cans showed severe sensory limitations in relation to flavor, texture, and color. However, a mild heat-treated paneer in hermetically sealed containers could be produced with desired sensory characteristics. In addition, this will definitely be costly. The shelf life of fresh paneer was one day at 35 degrees C. We could extend the shelf life up to several months by applying additional hurdles. In the product B, we could see that shelf life was increased from couple of days to several weeks. In the case of product B, four hurdles were used as water activity, pH, and mild heat treatment. In the case of product C, two additional hurdles, potassium sorbate and chill storage were used. Shelf life was increased to three months using 15 degrees C storage temperature. The water activity of paneer in gravy was lowered using natural yogurt, skim milk powder, salt and glycerol. The pH was adjusted by changing yogurt and skim milk powder ratio. The product was limited by textural changes that is hardness, cohesiveness, gumminess, springiness and chewiness as well as chemical changes that is browning, oxidation, lipolysis, loss of lysine. However, the product was stable microbiologically within the shelf life. These developed products were equally acceptable with fresh paneer. We can visualize the hurdles of cheese considering the trawler's wall metaphor of hurdle technology. Each layer of wall represents one hurdle. We could now discuss the stability of latching Chinese sauces in relation to their hurdles used. It differs from the fermented sauces commonly consumed in Western countries. It is processed raw with little fermentation, that is growth of lactic acid bacteria is usually avoided since many Chinese dislike sour meat. In the case of first product A, four hurdles were used. These were water activity, pH, salt, and sugar. This product could be stored without refrigeration and shelf life was two to three months. In the case of product B, vacuum packaging was used as an additional hurdle and shelf life was increased four to five months. Vacuum hurdle reduced the redox potential 
that is low oxygen. Interestingly, we can see only one additional hurdle could extend the shelf life double. This is the beauty of hurdle technology. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end. The next video will bring more examples of hurdle technology.